The right over, it's hard to see him, but, and Devin Haney's father right in the mix of things, trying to stir the pot there as well. Eddie Hearn trying to keep things calm. Eddie That's Hearn is, uh, I think, smiling in that moment. No, He's but guess what? This is exactly what Devin Haney needs to do. This is a dream for Eddie Hearn. This is exactly what he needs to do against Teofimo Lopez. These are the two baddest at lightweight. We got two young champions, two hungry lions wanting to face each other. If anything pops off, guys, I got you. I'll protect yeah, yeah. you, okay? Thank God you're here, you. Jessica. <laughs> Hey, but look, these are two guys in their early 20s that need to fight. The WBC created this dumpster fire when they created the, the uh, franchise belt. They should force these two guys to fight via mandatory, and we can get it in early 2022. And I'm sure you saw JoJo Diaz's tweet earlier as Eddie Hearn and Devin Haney were trying to bait him on this very program to accept the fight. It seems like he's going to do it. Look, I think what Eddie Hearn tried earlier worked. He did bait JoJo Diaz and got him to respond on social media. We'll see now if Diaz's representatives at Golden Boy decide that the proper course of action for JoJo Diaz, or they try to slip him a couple of bucks and say, wait for Ryan Garcia early next year. And I'll tell you what, guys, it wouldn't just be a great fight between Devin Haney and Teofimo Lopez, but it'd be great television with the trainers and the fathers in Bill Haney and Teofimo Sr. I'll watch, I'm telling you right now. More excitement after the fight than we actually saw in our main event.